Rachel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all how I achieved this quick and easy barrel roll lock style. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. And if you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and share with everybody you know. My hair is about four to five weeks old. So it's about time for me to get another retwist. But until I can set the time aside, to get one, I wanted to switch it up. I want to shout out Char is Locked because I looked at her video yesterday. I think, she, yeah, she posted a video yesterday of her doing barrel rolls on her sister's hair. And I was like, whoa, I did not know barrel rolls were this easy. So I like am promptly decided to try them before I went to bed last night. So that's why I have a robe on in the next clip. I decided to do four going to like the middle of my head and then I tied them with a rubber band and then let the rest hang out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey y'all, I start by dividing my hair into four different sections because I'm gonna have a total of four barrel rolls. Then I'm gonna spray my hair down with a little bit of water so I can get ready for my very light retwist I'm about to do. I take a couple locks from the first section and then begin retwisting with the line locks locking moisturizer. I'm retwisting the locks in the front so the bare rolls can have a cleaner look. Then I go around the whole perimeter of my head, doing that light retwist. Now I'm on the very last section, finishing up those few locks. So then I push the locks that I'm not going to use in this section over to the side so I can get ready to start working on this barrel roll. All right, now here's where it gets a little bit tricky, a little bit complicated. So I'm taking two of those locks from that section and then start twisting them as if I'm just doing a regular two strand twist or if I'm about to flat twist my hair. Now while I'm getting ready to bring that next lock in, I retwist it again just to make sure it's tight. So I take that lock and then wrap it around that two strand twist or that twist that I had just done. Then bring it all the way around to the back. It's kind of giving me cornrow vibes, flat twist vibes. So then I take that next lock that's on the other side, wrap it around, make sure it's tight and do the same thing. Take that next lock that's in line, twist it around a little bit, then wrap it around again. So then I just secure that barrel roll by taking a regular small black rubber band and tying it around the barrel roll. So this was my first try, my first attempt at it. So this one was a little janky, but I tied the rest of my hair back just to get it out of the way when I continue to do the other barrel rolls. One last time, I think this one is a little bit more clear. So I start by taking those two locks, twist them together like a two strand twist, then just take those next few locks, tighten them up, and then wrap them around. So as you can see, I have those clips in so I can secure the retwist. I keep them on each lock until I'm absolutely ready to use that lock to wrap around the roll.
Now I wanna say you should be cautious in making sure that you are not doing these too tight because that can happen really easily. You just wrap a little bit too tight and then you'll be like, oh no, my head is tight. That had happened to me when I was doing these. So midway through, I had to lay off a little bit of pressure so my head wouldn't be screaming at me. At this point, I was trying out two ponytails just because I wanted to see what it looked like. It turned out pretty cute, but with these half barrel rolls, you all can do a number of styles. You can do two ponytails, you can do one, you can leave it out, you can do buns. It's a number of stuff you all can do with these. Now it's time for me to get into these edges. You know I cannot do my edges without the Super Grow Naturals hair gel. So I'm just slapping a lot on my edges. And what I like about my edge brush or toothbrush is in addition to using the bristle side, I like to use the opposite side, the tongue scraper side, and it acts like a comb sort of and gives me that like extra laid effect. At this very moment, this is me doing a happy dance because I was happy that I was done and I was glad with how they turned out. So then I'm just using my scarf to lay those edges and then I went to sleep. Thanks y'all. And this is what they look like up close. So this concludes the end of the video. This style is super duper easy and so cute. Let me know if you all have tried barrel rolls before and how you feel about them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video.